If she got a ass, yeah, she gotta shake it. I ain't pulling up for petty tickets. All my niggas up, yeah, I know we made it. To fuck with us, cause the chain sling it. I ain't selling drugs, but you know I got it. Roll it up, fatter than you got it. I don't like the fact that you sure they like me. But if she want it, she can sit up on it. I see if she got a. Father Lord, look at the sun just laying on that shit. That shit. You someone fuck around if I own this shit, someone come and spill some juice. I'll beat the fuck out your mother. It's King Damien, this mother. Ha! King Damien, this mother. It's your day going when she working in back at channel goddamn video, man. Hey, look. King Damien, man. So in recent times, or recently, <laughs> I've been watching a whole bunch of this apartment videos, like luxury apartment and luxury home videos, and I think they're pretty cool. But this one seems pretty interesting, a $16 million luxury apartment in NYC. Just an apartment, not a house, $16 million. I want to see what we paying for this kind of shit and what the fuck this shit got. That gotta be $16 million. That view is pretty, pretty fucking dope, though. I would love to wake up to that sometimes. Okay. <laughs> That's what it is, right? This is the living room in a $16 million penthouse apartment on the 57th floor of Madison Square Park Tower with unquestionably oh, the most stunning views in all of New York City. Damn, My name is Eric Cotton, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one-of-a-kind luxury apartment in New York City. Hey. Let's go. Welcome to Penthouse 57A in Madison Square Park Tower. Today I'm doing a walkthrough with Anthony Barillo, who's one of the top real estate agents in the city. And it's definitely, definitely one of the more get into real estate spots one day. that we've seen in this series where I show you crazy New York City apartments that none of us can afford. The apartment is 4,655 square feet with four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, floor to ceiling windows with approximate 10 foot loft ceilings, asking $16 million. Damn, that's the so right off the elevator, you'll notice that this penthouse takes up the entire 57th floor of the building and it can only be accessed via your private elevator key card. Now walking into the apartment through the main entrance hallway, you'll enter the first part of the great room. The current staging has this corner of the great room set up as the dining area with an impressive St. James solid Appalachian white oak oh, table. Look at the chairs, that is dope. Like the cut, the uh, curtain is fucking incredible. Yo, that's sick. With seating for 10, filling up the entire space. This just feels like luxury velvet chairs at your dining room table mm -hmm. with that view. Moving from the dining room to the kitchen, a lot of people love these kitchens that are just a little bit separate from the main living space. When you're buying an apartment of this size, more than likely, most people have their staff doing a lot of work. If you're entertaining and you're having a fancy dinner party and you don't really want your guests to see you. Even look at that countertop, nigga, yo! <coughs> Father Lord, look at the sun just laying on that shit. That shit. You someone fuck around if I own this shit, someone come and spill some juice. I'll beat the fuck out your mother. Means of the cooking, the food in the kitchen. You have your custom brass pocket door handle. Comes right out, closes this all off. In an apartment like this, you need an oversized Sub-Zero integrated refrigerator and freezer. The kitchen, it has custom designed cabinetry, polished mercury black marble on the island, a six burner Miele gas cooktop, and even an integrated wine refrigerator. You wash your dishes, you look out your window and you see the World Trade Center from your kitchen. Not a bad view to do dishes. This is the first place we've seen where the kitchen is fully separate from the rest of the apartment because like you said, more than likely, if you're paying $16 million, you're gonna have a staff for cooking, for cleaning. Talking about cleaning, you actually have your laundry room right here. Which is also serving as our makeshift production gear storage, but you have a full washer, dryer, deep soaking sink, tons of pantry cabinet storage, the works. All right, now on to one of the main selling points of this apartment in the grand living space with unquestionably the best views in New York. Every single view that you can imagine in New York is visible from the 57th floor. On the north facing exposure in the living room, you can see the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, the historic clock tower, which was actually once the tallest building in the world, looking down over Madison Square Park. You can see all the new developments uptown on Billionaire's Row, 432 Park Avenue, Damn. 
to the northwest, you can see the Midtown area and Times Square with the H&M Tower. Looking right down below us, 23rd Street. And if you look closely enough, you can actually see people on the observation deck of the Empire State Building. The grand living area is 40 feet in width. And you might notice that there are no columns in the entire room. It's actually Manhattan's first cantilevered fluted glass sculpture. The tower becomes wider as it progresses. Comes Engineered with chamfered corners to maximize the views and to create calm free interiors. The mirrors definitely add a very unique feel to the living room because no matter which way you look in here, you have the best views of New York City right in your living room. Moving on next to your west facing views, which are extraordinary. I mean, you have the Hudson River, you have the best sunsets you can ever imagine. Is that the Flatiron Building? When I said you could see every building in this city from this apartment, I was not kidding. These are some of the largest condos in Chelsea. And they look like little Lego pieces. Look at Walker Tower over here. Look at the Google Building, which is one of the largest buildings in New York City. Does this work? Like, look, you even have oh, a wow. telescope. What do you want to see in New York? You can see anything from here. I can actually see into my apartment window Stop from here. Me, so. I don't know if you can hear that buzzing. That is the construction. They are finishing up the top floor of this building, which is the $77 million triplex penthouse. $77 million? That is correct. Comment down below more apartment tours if you want to see a tour of a $77 million apartment in this building. Continuing on with that 360 theme the of this apartment, we're now heading into the first bedroom, which is currently staged as the most luxurious office in the entire city with those warm southern views. Uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but south facing views are the most desirable views in New York City. The reason being is, like I said before, sunrise is on the east. It goes across the south part of the island the entire day and sets right there. You can literally see everything. I hope there's a way to close the blinds at least. Down to the financial district. Because I don't want to. 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 Now, right off your Bruce Wayne office is a full bathroom, complete with a shower, just in case you do choose to use this room as a bedroom. Hmm. Now we're heading down the hallway to the bedroom quarters of this apartment to the first bedroom, which is technically the guest bedroom. The guest bedroom has a full bathroom. It's got a very clean layout, king size bed, and this cool giant hand that's chair fine. that's been carved out of a piece of solid wood. Heading further down the living quarters wing, we have the third bedroom, which is currently staged as the kids' room. And what kid doesn't need pristine views of the Empire State Building from their bedroom window. Right across the hall from the kids room, you've got the parents room and the master living suite area. We're now heading to the Eastern Exposures with a view of the iconic Queensboro Bridge over the East River and the developing Long Island City off in the distance. I can't think of another bedroom in New York City where you can see a full view That's of fine. the Empire State Building out of one window, Walk over to the other side of your bedroom and see a clear shot to the Atlantic Ocean. There are not many in this city, I can tell you that. And finally, the crown jewel of this apartment. I think this has to be the nicest soaking tub in Manhattan. This master bathroom has white marble floors throughout the entire space. The floors are radiant heat yeah. for those cold New York City winter mornings. There's dual porcelain sinks and of course, a separate oversized shower with a perfect view of one World Trade Center as you are scrubbing down. As always, if you're loving this series, that's pretty cool. That's cool. I, th I, I think it's worth the 16 million. I want to see what the other ones look like. That was an interesting video. If you enjoyed my video, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, tell a friend, tell a friend, stop trying to go for me on Instagram, and ask a friend name for my other social medias like you see. Or other scan the snap, close, turn the post notifications, and tell me how the video is going. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Alright. Alright. Hey. drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, but you roll me a blunt so I can't cool off. Eh?